Hi, I'm Roger. Um, today we're going to start into the hedge trimming mode. Um, retirement gift I got myself. These nice gas trimmers. Uh, you might use electric trimmers. Um, depending on what you're you're going to do and the, the, the magnitude of your work, you want to buy something good. Th these are really good trimmers. Um, I do a lot of hedge trimming. There's all kinds of work I need to do here. So I'm going to want a good set. I'm sure you are too. Before we start, um, the other thing you're going to need to know about trimming, the most important thing you're going to buy yourself are pruners. I don't know um, what all's out there now, but I've always loved these style of pruners right here. You're going to need to learn how to prune. This privet hedge that we're going to take on today has been here, Karen, 20 years? 20. Yep. This privet head's been here a long, long time. And if you don't know how to prune, or if you don't take the time to learn how to prune, you can't do what we're going to do with this hedge. There, When we first put that privet in, there were seven shrubs, and I knew that it would be a challenge to keep it to four feet. But we've done that. And the reason is, all, we're going to do a whole segment, segments on pruning. Um, the most important part of landscaping there is is to learn how to use this set of pruners right here. Um, I'll go into more detail about this, but know about pruning that you're going to need to learn how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it, and you're going to use it um, every time you're out in the yard. You're going to be using these pruners. I'm going to get busy now on, on trimming this thing. Um, the thing. The first thing you want to do is grab a rake and Early in the season, probably no problem, but there could be bees in here. You always want to stand at a distance. You don't want to find the bees when you're doing going down through there with your hedge trimmers or pruners. You want to be at a distance like this. And the first thing we do is just... And as I'm doing that, I'm looking in there to see if I can see a hive. They'll, they'll be on, they tend to be on the corners. Um, Now, spoiler alert, I knew we weren't going to find any, but I wanted to show you that's how you're going to, you're going to want to check for the bees. July and August when we get trimming this thing, you can find them. All right, I better get cutting before it gets dark. things that you noticed the head trimmers never came off and on off on off on none of that um, get them going keep them going there's never any reason that on off on off on off stuff drives you nuts um, you don't get anything done 
So that's how you rough it up the first, for the first cut. Um, and of course now all I'm gonna do is clean it up a little bit. Let me get that done and I'll get back with you and we'll, we'll do the final cut on this in just a second. I'll explain some other things to you. See you in a minute. Roughed it up. This is the first cut we made. Um, that's what it looks like. Um, some people leave it like that. Call it good enough. We're not going to do that. I want to show you. You're going to have to come closer, Karen. I want to show some pruning. To find out where to prune, you, you almost you prune it every time you trim it. Um, you find places you can prune it. You can hit it with your hand. And where that gives, where it's nice and lacy, nothing. But you'll find places. Right here is one. Boy, you find that. Something's bouncing right back. If you, if you open that up, look, show them this. Show them right down in there. You're going to see all that stock. You can afford this one right here. Get that out of the way. And look how nice and lacy that. We want to keep things nice and lacy. I didn't lose a thing by taking that out of there. And there's that much growth now that won't be propagated on. No more growth comes off of that. So this hedge never gets ahead of me. That's one cut out of, I don't know, 25, 30, 40 cuts you make here and just routinely pruning. Here's a little bulk right here. It's just sticking out. I don't think my trimmers are going to get it. Just in there, just just some little cuts as you go just as a maintenance type thing um, but you'll find you'll find bigger cuts as you go and they need to come out of there don't be afraid to get in there and cut um, this lightens up the it lightens up the whole hedge and over the course of time I'm going to show you back down in there again I want you to look down in here can I get a hey Karen I don't know how this is going to show up but just just show down in there show down in there can you see down in there look at the diameter down in there there's nothing big see how there's nothing big now go to the bottom of the hedge see how big that stuff is at the very bottom see those big stalks it's, that's how big all this stuff in here would be if you never pruned and I don't know how you're gonna keep a hedge four feet or, or less if you allow all that so the pruning that started from day one is the reason this hedge has stayed like it is also the other thing that I see a lot of workers over the years do, when you're starting a, uh, an engine with a cord on it, the tendency, this yanking it all the way as far, that's not how that's designed. That will start with the lightest pull. People always breaking these cords and pulling these cords. Don't do that. Pull, give it a light pull. Just a light pull. A light pull. Very light. Hardly, hardly even pulling it at all. That starts, that'll always start. That's how these engines are designed. You don't have to yank those cords out. Okay, I, I did fail to mention one thing. Now we've got the, the side done. The next thing you want to do is bevel. <laughs> All these same words are going to keep coming back um, around. We're going to bevel this edge. You, you don't want to cut it up straight across. There'll always be a little hair. You'll find all this kind of stuff lingering along the, along the edge there. The way to prevent that is before you level that top, you want to bevel these edges. See how nice and round this is going to be? I won't leave this. I'm going to round that off. It's going to have a nice soft look to it. Again, no yank. Don't yank this pull cord. Give it a little tiny pull like that. will start every single time. If you yank the thing way out here pretty soon, you're going to have to take a shot.
be right back and finish this. Is that okay? Okay. Um, now we've got the hedge pretty much where we want it, but boy, now you can really, really see these pruning cuts. Any pruning cuts left now show up like a sore thumb, um, and you can really feel them. But look at this. All that wood, all that wood, and it's growing irregularly as well. Get that out of your way. And you can go down. I'm not going to go down through the whole thing while it's while we're taped, but, but I would. I would take that kind of time. Right now, you can go down. Look at that. So you can see these now vividly. Um, boy, look at this one. Here's one. Show up here. Here's one. Can you get up there? <laughs> Producers having trouble. Here's one here. Look at the size of that diameter up here doing absolutely nothing except making a, a nod in my hedge. That's got to go. Take that out. Fluff it around a little bit. Another one right there. Boy, you soften that area. Now look at it. Beautiful. What do you think? Good enough? Is there such a thing as good enough? Or... See, oh, look at that one. That's got to go. Look at that. And just a few little things if you see them. Go ahead and snip them out now. And... I'm try to be okay without it. And step back out here. And the point of view, let's say you're, you know, when you're looking at that hedge, look at that from out here. And anyone, anyone can learn to do it. And that's, I hope you get something out of these videos like that, to, because you see how easy that is. You don't have to be a professional landscaper, but you do have to know some things, and they're not hard. So, that's a privet hedge. Tomorrow we're going to do crimson barberry and my favorite, the green mountain boxwood. See you then.